This is video out of Johnson Space Center on Saturday, where checkout time has finally arrived. Is ready to come out? Hey! Four emerge from this door here, and their arrival to this platform is full of handshakes and fanfare for good reason. They've just returned from Mars. Uh, kind of. 378 days ago, these four dedicated individuals who you're about to meet entered this 3D printed 1700 square foot Mars habitat simulation. Yeah, that's the deputy director of the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. The very same location where these four volunteers have been holed up for more than a year inside of this phony Mars. Now, if this all vaguely reminds you of a 1996 Pauly Shore movie, trust your instincts. Trick or treat. But NASA actually does this kind of thing all the time. They're called analog missions, which they say are field tests that have physical similarities to extreme space environments. This this particular facility is known as Mars Dune Alpha, and even though NASA is the kind of place with a budget of 20 plus billion dollars, they didn't exactly use the sands of Jordan to craft Arrakis. Here in the biodome, sorry, the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog, Chapia. Home for the past year plus for our Fab Four here has been this 1700 square foot 3D printed habitat that looks like it was constructed out of dessert frosting, but is actually made from something known as lavacrete, which the company behind the substance says is a proprietary material that's highly printable and incredibly strong. And the analog team here would have plenty of free time to give this place the is it cake treatment, as their home away from home isn't exactly stuffed with the comforts of a pushy realtor staging a house. But it was outfitted with four private crew quarters, workstations, a medical station, lounge areas, bathrooms, and even a place to grow food. Which is important because they desperately need fresh beans, seeing as NASA seems to have stuck them with a curing. And you thought their 22 minute communications lag with the outside world was bad. Over the past 378 days, Commander Kelly Haston, Flight Engineer Ross Brockwell, Medical Officer Nathan Jones, and Science Officer Anka Solariu. That's the principal investigator of Chapia, who observes why these four put up with tight quarters in what appears to be hotel quality coffee. Have dedicated their lives to achieve the objectives the scientists and engineers at NASA have set before them, enabling us to collect thousands of data points, yielding a unique and valuable integrated data set in a Mars realistic simulation. This data will give us unprecedented insight into how we can best work together to achieve mission objectives while maintaining health and performance for the success of future human missions to Mars. Inside the Chapia, NASA says the overall goal was to assess human health and performance in relation to Mars's limited resources. And these four did things like grow greens and tomatoes, work out, and even ventured quote unquote outside for simulated Mars walks within the confines of a surrounding 1200 square foot sandbox said to mimic the Martian landscape. Wow. What of you? They also put up with environmental stressors, like isolation and equipment failure. Though they nevertheless found time to celebrate Thanksgiving in front of an earthy backdrop, throw a birthday party, and snap this photo in front of the number 300 on their 300th day. Now our four volunteers here don't appear to have undertaken a year plus of Big Brother Mars just for birthday presents or money. As the Houston Chronicle notes, they got paid about $10 an hour for every one of their 16 waking hours in confinement. Doesn't really matter how noble these volunteers are, we can't pay slouches to snooze. Though it around a $60,000 annual wage, an isolated year inside of a phony Mars paid less than what was offered by USA Today to its inaugural Taylor Swift reporter. Mars is our goal. As global interest and capabilities in space exploration continue to expand, America is poised to lead. The completion of Chapia 1 mission is an important step in this goal. NASA has a goal of getting people to Mars by the 2030s. And as noted by the crew's commander, who was holed up inside of this thing from June 25th, 2023 through July 6th, 2024, she was thankful to take part in this opportunity, even though it was tough to be away from her family. Chapia 1 has been a unique experience with great challenges, joys and sorrows, and a lot of hard work with a fair bit of fun thrown in as well. During this mission, these people have given an incredible richness of shared experience and conversation, a gift of love and support that made this year possible. I am humbled that being away on a one-year Mars analog brought me closer to those I was with and those I left back at home. The analog's flight engineer said he was grateful for the chance to utilize resources no faster than they could be replenished. We cannot live, dream, create, or explore on any significant time frame if we don't live these principles. But if we do, we can achieve and sustain amazing and inspiring things like exploring other worlds. And we can do these things together. We can use our senses of wonder and purpose to achieve peace and prosperity and to unlock knowledge and joy for the benefit 
of everyone and every part of planet Earth. The simulation's medical officer covered a lot of ground too. I've got a million thoughts just kind of racing through my head right now. For instance, you know, wow, that went by quickly. I really hope I don't cry standing up here in front of all of you. And um, as a physician, I'm so glad that my life events led me here instead of being a proctologist. I could still change my mind about that, I'm pretty young. And finally, the science officer put forward a question that's on the minds of a lot of people who seem to enjoy life on Earth. The only place we know of with, well, life. I've been asked many times, why the obsession with Mars? Why go to Mars? Because it's possible. Because space can unite and bring out the best in us. Because it's one defining step that Earthlings will take to light the way into the next centuries. This NASA astronaut and deputy director of flight missions expressed gratitude for the willingness of these four to lock themselves inside of a high-tech escape room for 378 days. The path to Mars is beset with challenges. The crew and their families uh, have committed a year of their lives in service to NASA, to the country, and to humanity's exploration of space. And so thank you, congratulations and thank you to the crew for um, putting your previous careers on pause for a year and uh, committing yourself to research that is gonna enable our future exploration of space. It is worth pointing out that this is just the first of three Chapia analog missions, with the next two coming up in 2025 and 2026. Of course, if you're stuck inside of a 1,700 square foot fake planet with limited resources, you likely wouldn't be able to enjoy the full bandwidth of your daily news refresh, please subscribe, where we put out all sorts of new weird and interesting news videos each and every day, like this one about NASA using an ultra high definition cat video to test out a space laser. That's one reason you should study science in school.